Welcome! We are now in module number 8 of our series Maintenance from Zero to World Class. We are very happy with the response of everybody. We have been receiving a lot of uh, recommendations, suggestions, ideas, and we are answering your questions in these models and we will keep doing so from now on. So how many how many modules the other day a guy from Kansas gave me sent me an email that I appreciate that Robert uh, sent an email saying Enrique how many modules of maintenance are we gonna have? <laughs> I said you know as long as I can make modules you count on them. There may be hundreds, I don't know. The most important part of maintenance is that it can always be improved, as uh, most of the processes that we do every day, okay? So, uh, CMMS and computer uh, the, uh, and, the, and the management systems are critical because we are going to depend a lot on the information that these systems provide us to control our processes to analyze how well or how bad we're doing things, okay? So it's going to allow for us to measure the quality of service that maintenance delivers to our customers. So this is critical. Uh, and uh, today with the computers that are so fast and the programs that are so efficient, we are going to be able to really provide an excellent service and, and me measure what we are doing. Now, the CMMSs uh, will help everyone to be more efficient. The maintenance technicians will know exactly all they need to know about each piece of equipment. They will know what time has been since the last service how many abnormalities we have been finding in that equipment, uh, what parts have we been utilizing, uh, the cost, the cost of maintenance per year. Uh, don't, don't forget that we have a new article in our website, TPM Online, or Lean Expertise, that establishes that what is your cost of maintenance? Many people don't know what's their cost of maintenance. Probably they don't measure the cost of maintenance. They only have a cost of no maintenance, meaning they are not controlling anything. That's not good. So uh, we are going to know exactly what is the cost of maintenance per year, who did the previous work, that's critical, that's important, and all the facts that we need in order to make decisions. On the other hand, the benefits for our maintenance customers, meaning managers, supervisors and operators from the production areas, the main, the main advantages for them are that they will have a much better communication with maintenance, right? Now, they will learn estimated repair times, they will learn when we have a scheduled maintenance and they will help us schedule maintenance, and uh, they will know when we have availability or no availability of their parts, and all those facts that are so important for them to make some decisions. So this is an advantage for everybody. Now, the work order system is going to be a very good addition to the efficiency of your maintenance department. Because when we are applying work orders and we get used to registering those work orders exactly at what time the service was uh, was asked from us, at what time did we start working, at what time did we finish work, what were exactly the number of parts, components or materials that went into it, the amount of labor, etc. That is going to be very valuable. And uh, therefore, we will be able, with these work orders, we will be able to analyze what has been the reliability that we have managed to give to that piece of equipment. We are also going to be able to define how effective our maintenance service has been. And uh, of course, 
one part of the of the work order system that really helps a lot is how good are we complying with preventive maintenance remember that the more quality that we put into preventive maintenance the more compliance we put into the program of preventive maintenance the higher the reliability of our equipment we will also be able to know at all times what is the cost per unit of of equipment in our plant all those are benefits that we all are going to enjoy now CMMS contains and provides all this information in detail. Uh, it pr provides the maintenance people uh, all the information they need, like what are the parts, the tools that you're going to need, uh, who did the previous work so that we're prepared, we can ask questions, etc. And that is going to help us all to reduce the amount of accidental mistakes, errors that we sometimes have in our jobs. So most errors and mistakes will be eliminated with a good use of our system, our work orders system. Now, features of the work order system. For the production group, they will perceive several advantages. One is that they will have all the information needed to schedule their production. Then they, they will be able to help them define the timeliness for new equipment that we need to acquire. They will be able to, to understand what equipment is uh, now not sufficient or is uh, now not up to date to provide the service they need. They will also will have clear statistics that will help them do a more realistic planning and projection of production. On the other hand, the maintenance organization will be receiving some improvements as well with a clear and documented measurement of the maintenance activity we will be able to make better decisions. Is that right? Of course. Now, this will also give us timely detection of the skills, the tools, and the resources that we may need to provide our service. On the other hand, we will also be accounting the usage of all kinds of resources, materials, labor, parts, etc. And that will help us justify the budgets and keep our asset management system as good as possible. Now, in our next module, module number nine, we will keep addressing all these questions that you have for us. I am very thankful for all the emails that you guys are sending to our email address that's going to appear in the next screen here, okay? Pay attention to that one because there is our email address that is perfect for this type of work. It is our YouTube at EnriqueMora.com address where I will be so happy to receive your suggestions, your ideas, your comments, your criticisms as well as to how we can deliver in these modules more service to our friends online. Thank you very much and I will see you here in our next module.